Here's the only time a company can spend billions of dollars and actually reduce its equity. Yes, there are rules against it, so they're not manipulating, but let's get into it. Treasury stock is shares the company bought back from investors and now holds for itself. Those shares are no longer outstanding, they don't vote, and they don't get dividends. The company basically go out, went out into the market and bought its own stock back and locked it in a drawer after it's issued. So again, a stock buyback is when a company uses cash to repurchase its own shares in the open market. Companies do this to reduce shares outstanding, boost EPS, return money without dividends, or signal confidence in the stock. But here's what people miss. Companies can't just buy their own stock however they want. If companies could freely buy their own shares, they could prop up the price, fake demand, support the stock during bad news, so they have real rules to prevent manipulation. Not rules, guidelines. These guidelines are to prevent being accused of manipulation. They're called, it's 10B18, they're called the safe harbor rules that limit when, how, how much you can buy and all that. So first of all, the timing of it, they can't buy right out of the open or right before the close. No end of the day price pumping. They can't bid higher than the highest independent bid or the last independent trade. No pushing the stock up. So basically they can only buy it where someone else is willing to buy it or where it's already trading. They can't buy it higher than that. They can only use one broker per day. No hiding the buybacks across multiple firms. And they can't buy more than 25% of the average volume in the day so they don't become the market for the stock. If they follow these guidelines, Safe Harbor says that they won't be accused of manipulation. Now, as far as the balance sheet goes, Treasury stock is a contra equity account. When a company buys back shares, cash goes down, equity goes down. No magic, no value created out of thin air, nothing. So literally, they're gonna use the cash they have to buy back shares, so there's less equity. Now, where does the money come from? Usually either retained earnings or paid in capital, which my other videos covered. So aggressive buybacks can shrink equity worse than negative retained earnings and weaken the balance sheet if the management overdoes it. Up into the 80s, buybacks weren't illegal, but they were really thought of as manipulation. So what they did was, in the 80s, they created 10B18, which is the rules I just showed you, that if you follow those guidelines, again, I use rules, but they're guidelines. If you follow those guidelines, you will not be accused of manipulation as a company. Now again, you can buy outside the rules, but you're outside your safe harbor and you're taking on risk. So buybacks aren't illegal and they're not evil. They're regulated because without the rules, there'd be pure manipulation. Now I'm gonna do another follow-up video on what happened in 2008 with the TARP, where we threw a bunch of money at the banks and the companies and they just bought all their stock. We tried to change that a little bit. Next up, tangible net worth. What's really left once you take the fluff out of the equity. 